Sophia. Well, many Americans are looking to make this year better than the last. And one aspect of life that you could try and improve your situation in is your money. And joining us here today on the News at 4 to talk about paying debt and planning ahead for your budget is Rod Carr. And uh, Rod, I know that there's a lot of people that probably maybe overspent during the holiday season now yeah. here in 2024. Got a little bit of credit card debt to pay down. <laughs> what are some of the strategies and ideas to kind of work on that? I think one of the biggest things is you got to create a budget before the month begins. In this case, we're going to create a budget before the year begins. And then you got to work that plan and then you got to manage that budget. And when you are looking at some big, big purchases, I know that people are in the, the housing market, the car market. Yes. How do you launch into a major purchase like that without you know, risking the idea of maybe I can't afford this? Maybe, maybe you can't afford it. Yeah. And so the thing is getting a good game plan together to see exactly, you know, to measure that budget, to measure the things you can do. Uh, practice budgeting zero so that every dollar has a purpose. You know, so for large pur purchases, make sure that you have your plan together and review your plan. And also there's a lot of resources out there find the best purchase at the best place to purchase them. Because I get the idea that when you go, especially for big purchases, you don't want to just go into it and say, no. ah, we'll figure it out, we'll sign the contract, <laughs> and when we get home, we'll do the financing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, you know, while, we, while you have you here, um, in terms of saving for the future, I know that some people get a little overwhelmed with yeah. investing and bonds and all stuff like that. In, in terms of simple money management, what, what, I guess, tips would you have? The easiest simple money management is you got to pay yourself first, mm. okay? Even if it's 5 or $10 a month, you know, especially if you're at a, at a budget, uh, you, you got to understand that from the largest corporations to a single parent, it's the, the concepts are all the same. And so pay yourself first. If it's $10 a month, that's what you need to start with. But the thing is, saving for the future, you have to start now mm -hmm. and make it a consistent month-to-month -month thing. Okay, I appreciate you saying you start now because I know that we have younger folks in our audience that say, I'll start saving when I'm old. I'll start <laughs> saving in my 30s or 40s. If you're in your 20s or early 30s, I mean, is it a serious time to get saving? It's a great time to get saving, especially even younger than that. We have a lot of clients that are under 10 and so that, that their parents are showing them the way to budget and save for the future. If you're in your 20s, you got that first job and everything. It's one of those things to understand how your 401k works. Um, if you don't understand, ask somebody. That's why 401ks work, because you're paying yourself first. And we know that a lot of folks like yourself, great experts, they work in finance. We know here in the Valley, people like you, you want to help Idahoans and make sure you they do. have money. Absolutely. And if someone wanted to connect with you, uh, what, what, I guess what's a great way to do that? Uh, you, I'm, I'm with New York Life um, here in Boise, Idaho. I've been with New York Life since 1994. Uh, it's a wonderful place to come in, get to know somebody. I don't find it so much about the numbers, it's more about the relationships that we mm. establish with people. I love to hear that. All yeah. right, well, Rod Carr with New York Live joining us here on the News at 4. Rod, we'll have to have you back again soon, but Thank you so for much. now we do have to go to a break. We'll be right. right back. Thank you so much.